A profession, by definition, has certain characteristics. You know, it manages a particular repository of information. It manages a, a skill set. And it, it has to operate in a way that meets the needs of the public and does so in a, in a, in an ethical uh, manner. So I think all professionals, if they are professionals, are imbued with a, a, a wish or a drive to do the best that they can do, you know, to be the best that they can be and to do the best that they can do for their, you know, in this case, for their patients. And that also fits with the, the kind of model that we, we all use now, which is the idea of lifelong learning, you know, that, that this is something for life. We're learning all the time as practice changes. So it's not a matter of graduating, getting your qualifications, and that's it. A professional doesn't stop there. A professional is learning for life. FIC need to know what you, as a registered FIC practitioner, think. We need feedback from the profession. This is your profession. In order to accumulate valid CPC points, you must be a registered practitioner who is actually practicing. There are four requirements. One, you must be on the register as a paramedic or an advanced paramedic. Two, you must hold a CFRA cert. Three, you must be familiar with current CPGs. And four, you must have completed a minimum of 20 patient care reports during the year. There's all kinds. I mean, if you look at uh, if you look at the medical profession, for example, it's everything from doing courses, doing you know further educational programs, degrees, postgraduate activity, attending conferences, attending journal clubs, you know, giving talks, giving lectures. There's a whole re a smorgasbord of activities that one can gather in one's portfolio.
you've seen a list with suggestions of activities and corresponding maximum points. This list is not exhaustive. Any relevant activity will be considered. Part of this consultation process is to get your feedback on what you think is fair and what you think should be included. The next step will be an online survey where all practitioners will be invited to participate and give feedback on what you've already seen. FEC will then publish the findings of this survey and these findings will go to council in their deliberations when they are approving the CPC policy.